chlorophyll comes in a number of different forms. It comes in tablet form, uh, capsule form, also comes in liquid form. There's a lot of people, um, you might have seen social media videos, a lot of people are taking uh, drops of chlorophyll, like in a dropper, and adding it to their water and drinking it. Um, and why, you might ask? Uh, well, because chlorophyll is touted to have a lot of benefits. Um, there are many people who say that chlorophyll will help you lose weight, um, that it may help boost red blood cells, that it will help detoxify. Even I've seen claims that says it will prevent uh, cancer and then even um, heal certain skin conditions, whether it's acne or other conditions as well. There are other um, claims as well. Uh, but what are, we're talking about today, whether chlorophyll actually does these things. Uh, my name is Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. And let me tell you, uh, first of all, I have not tried chlorophyll. Before you get mad at me and say, well, how could you talk about it? I, I want to be very clear. I'm giving a scientific review of the product, um, not a, a, a review from an experiential standpoint. So there are plenty of people on social media that have tried chlorophyll and will tell you what they felt. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to tell you what the evidence is, meaning the scientific evidence and background we have about it, so that you can use that along with whatever other information you're getting to make an informed decision, okay? So that's why I haven't tried it, because I'm actually talking about data and evidence that exists, uh, not my personal experiences with it. Oh, the other thing, I've seen uh, also claims that um, chlorophyll can help with genital herpes and uh, also shingles. Hmm. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this. Um, so chlorophyll, a lot of the times the over-the-counter preparations that you see may not even have the word chlorophyll on the bottle. You actually might see um, the active ingredient chlorophyllin. Let me explain that. First of all, chlorophyll is sort of, it's that's the natural form. That's Chlorophyll is what gives green plants its color. If you remember from back in school, photosynthesis and all sorts of stuff, that's what chlorophyll does. It does plenty of things, don't get me wrong, but it helps give green plants this color in the, in the natural state, okay? By the way, little fun fact, um, in my, um, let's see, what was I, junior high school spelling bee, I got knocked out of the spelling bee with the word chlorophyll. I will never, yeah, I could not spell it or did not spell it right. I will now, I have not since forgotten how to spell chlorophyll, C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L, -L. Um, fun fact. Anyway, but I digress. So what you'll actually see, since chlorophyll is sort of the, the how it exists in the natural state, um, uh, natural chlorophyll, however, is unstable, meaning it's not the best version to make tablets, capsules, liquids out of. So many of the over-the-counter products contain chlorophyllin. Uh, that's a semi-synthetic derivative of chlorophyll, meaning it's like a cousin, a relative of chlorophyll. And that's why you see that. I thought that was interesting. I wanted to add that. Okay. Um, all right. So this is the thing. We do have some data about chlorophyll. Um, there are some animal studies. There are very small human studies. Okay. So remember, when we talk about scientific evidence, um, we're talking about science and how well something has been studied. Okay. That's generally how the healthcare community and, and medicine makes wide range recommendations is we've studied it on enough people for long enough. We've checked its safety. We've checked side effects. We've checked its efficacy, all these things to be able to say um, the best we can that, hey, this product is safe, effective, and it does X, Y, or Z. It's one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of doctors recommending a lot of supplements. Why? Because we don't have a lot of evidence uh, about supplements. And interestingly enough, that's where we fall with chlorophyll as well. Okay. Um, so while we do have some animal studies, do not be fooled by animal studies. We want studies on people. Animal studies are a start. It's important, but we want to know what happens on people, right? Because I mean, people are not the same as mice or what have you. And you can understand why. Um, the, the human studies we have, we don't have very many. And so from a scientific standpoint, we just don't have enough evidence to say that chlorophyll, chlorophyllin, the supplements that are taken over the counter, we don't have enough evidence to say that they do and, and, and sort of solve these problems that many healthcare companies claim that they solve. We just don't have enough evidence to say that chlorophyll supplements fix acne, fix genital herpes. It'd be great if it did. We don't have evidence that it does. Spingles, prevents cancer, etc. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that it doesn't. It just means we don't have enough data to say that it does. And that is a general problem that we have with a lot of supplements. A lot of people say, well, why don't we have more studies? Well, um, I don't know why we don't have more studies, okay? But but the idea is that we, we don't, okay? So with that said... Um, I can't say that it's going to do all this stuff. And in fact, I don't think anyone can say it, even though 
companies and stuff do. Now, what does that mean for you? Does that mean you can't take it, shouldn't take it, etc.? In my opinion, what it means is um, you should run it by your doctor. Why? Because you should run all supplements and vitamins by your doctor. Why? Because they can have interactions with other things you take. They can have side effects. I heard that chlorophyll actually can turn your poo green, uh, may have some other GI side effects, etc. There's nothing on this earth that doesn't have potential side effects, okay? So um, that's that. But also, um, for many people, taking chlorophyll probably is not that big of a deal. Um, but run it by your doctor. I would also say it is very possible with many supplements to take too much, okay? I see this all the time. Now, in the world that we live in, where supplement companies are advertising and making us feel like if we're not taking XYZ ABC, we're not doing the best for our health. I can guarantee you that's not the case for many of us, okay? Meaning that sort of feeling that we have. Um, do not take too much. Run this by your doctor. Be thoughtful about it and understand potential risks and benefits. And also know that we don't have the data and the studies to say that it's a slam dunk. It does all of these things. So with that, you know, my goal is to help you make a decision that is right for you along with your doctor. Again, don't be mad at me because I didn't try it. I didn't need to try it to tell you uh, about the evidence that we have. And that's why I didn't try it. Um, also, remember when it comes to a lot of the things that this supplement says that it does, weight loss. Remember there, we do have evidence-based ways to help you lose weight. Um, nowadays, we actually have FDA approved medications that help you lose weight, but there's also eating a proper diet and exercising and so many other things that we know does actually work in terms of the prevention of cancer. Um, which is another claim, you know, I, I want to give you some solutions. I don't want to just leave you high and dry saying, oh, well, it doesn't work. So you're left. But if you're trying to do these things, remember, we actually do have good options for many of them. Preventing cancer is not always something we can do, but we do know that there are some risk factors for certain cancers that we can mitigate, not smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, minimizing red meat, minimizing alcohol consumption, and plenty of other things. Um, in terms of skin conditions, I'll, this is the last one I'll, I'll give you. You know, maybe it's not chlorophyll that does this, but hey, if it's acne you got, good thing is we have a lot of great medications that really help that have been tried and true and that have been used. I've used myself uh, as a kid who had acne, really bad acne. Point being is I don't want you to feel like you have to turn to a supplement to fix these things because, well, we've got things that we have better evidence and data about that we know will fix these things. I think that's about, I think that's about it. I want to know what you think. Um, a lot of, I did this topic because a lot of you have sent me a video or like have asked me about chlorophyll. So I'm like, okay, we got to talk about this. Let me know if you take chlorophyll right in the comments. Let me know why, how, what, give, give the deets. Okay. Share this video with other people that you think might benefit from it. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician. Oh, by the way, please like and follow my page on Facebook. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Please follow me on TikTok, WhatsApp, etc. LinkedIn, uh, uh, Instagram, <laughs> and also, guys, sign up for my free health newsletter at uh, www.drjencoddle.com. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I love you. Bye.